Drop the logic, mind will vanish. Indeed, logic is the fruit of the mind. Mind lives on logic. The moment you drop logic, mind will start losing its grip. Trees are far more religious and meditative than man. The tree enjoys each moment as it comes. Its existence is tremendous delight. A tree never accumulates. Once the harvesting season is over, it sheds the old leaves and makes the room for new. Existing leaves turn gold in autumn and new foliage comes on the tree. It is simple shedding away the past. Man has to learn this. So to delight, sing, utter sounds, forget all logic, forget all the scriptures, simply dance in ecstasy like Krishna did on the banks of the blue river under the blue moonlight. This is ecstasy. Why bother about the scriptures and burden yourself? And by and by, you will become more and more alive. Less logical, of course, and that is the price one has to pay, but you become dead if you become more logical and you become more alive if you become less logical. If you drop logic completely, the mind will vanish automatically. Life is the goal, a journey, not logic. What are you going to do with logic? If you are hungry, logic is not going to feed you. If you need love, logic is not going to hug you. If you are thirsty, Logic will tell you that water is H2O. It is not going to give you water, the real water. No, not at all. And it will not quench your thirst either. Logic simply functions in formulas and maxims. Look at life. And by and by you will understand that life has its own very Logical logic, be attuned to it and that will become the door for your ecstasy, nirvana, samadhi or whatsoever you call. Forget logic, mind will vanish of its own accord.